So Kylie Jenner's makeup artist is going to beat my new face. No, this is not clickbait. <laughs> on my phone today for those of you who follow me on twitter know that i've been tweeting about this i've been wanting to go back to like the og fancy vlogs where i vlog on my phone because one it's so much more convenient and two i feel like i could capture more footage because um i won't be as humiliated with a camera in public i know a lot of my vlogs are shopping and just doing girly things in public and you know it's just so much more convenient i just got my nails done it's a little blown out because of the exposure but insert clip here um, so yeah, I go to Lovely Lacquer Nails if you're from the area. It's in Easton, PA. You guys may notice I have my glasses on. For those of you who watch my plastic surgery videos or don't know, I just had some facial reconstructive surgery. And I'm not ashamed to say that. And two of them involved my eye, so I had to get an eye clearance before getting the procedure done. And at the eye clearance, I found out I have like probably the world's shittiest eyes and I need glasses. So these are my first glasses that came in. These are Michael Kors and they're rose gold. And then I have the same ones in black and I have blue eyed color contacts on their way. They won't let me wear my contacts without getting a contacts class. So I go in for my contacts class tomorrow. Um, speaking of tomorrow, sorry, this intro is so long. Speaking of tomorrow, one of my best friends, I, I can't believe I have not told you guys this before. One of my best friends, Samuel, Makeup by Samuel on Instagram, he does Kylie Jenner's makeup. He does Kris Jenner's makeup. He does like the Jenner Kardashians makeup. You probably remember him from Mickey and I's Kylie and Kendall parody in the LA house. He was, he played the role of our makeup artist, ironically. But anyways, he does Kylie's makeup and he's coming to town tomorrow night because on Friday morning in two days, I have a photo shoot. Well, so much tea in this video. I have a photo shoot um, with my two sisters. So us three sisters are going to be on the cover of Maxim France magazine, which is insane. We're shooting it in Pennsylvania. So Samuel and his assistant Artie, who are my friends, are showing up tomorrow night. And um, yeah, he's gonna be beating my face. I'm so curious to see what my face is gonna look like. No, this is not clickbait. He is genuinely her makeup artist. Right now, I'm still wearing my eyelash extensions. Who knows what my face is gonna look like after he does it, but I felt like letting you guys know in the intro because this is just something super exciting. I'm really, really nervous though to be on the cover of a magazine. I've, I mean, I've been on the cover of a magazine before, but not like a huge known magazine like this. I've been super nervous and to calm down my nerves, I figured I'm gonna go to Michael's today. I kind of want to do some like DIY stuff for the house. The pergola is done. You're gonna see that in this vlog. I'm also starting a new collection on my Gap 20 antique shop on Instagram. I'm going to be selling vintage designer items. Some are mine, some are from thrift shops, some are from consignment shops. So yeah, I'm gonna go antique shopping today. I do have majority of the vintage designer collection already at my house, but I am gonna antique shop to look for more vintage designer items. If you guys didn't know this, my local antique shops do sell vintage designer items. And that's probably like the number one requested item you guys have on my antique shop Instagram page. If you guys wanna follow it, follow it here, I have a shop. That was a long intro, but yeah, let's get into the vlog. Okay, so we're here. I just wanted to show you my purse of the day. Um, so this is a Mew Mew handbag from Spring 2017 collection. I feel like I only used it once, so I want to try to get more wear out of this bag. It always wants to know what my car smells like. It literally smells like vanilla because I got the Chanel air freshener from Etsy that has vanilla fragrance in it. And then I also spray the car with Sweet Lake Candy. So it smells like all those things. I've been obsessed with fake greenery lately and I kind of want to put more in my house. So I'm going to take, I think this white thing, I think it would look cute in our bedroom. And then like maybe the living room, this would look nice. This is so cute. Oh my God, I love it. I always have friends over. Gucci bag. 
It's really good quality. And then I also found this little Louis right here. I think I'm gonna get them for the antique shop since I'm gonna be having a vintage designer collection coming soon. So before I show you guys the haul of the things I bought today, I just wanna show you how cute this is. I couldn't find them in the house and then I find them in the yard grilling. The mushrooms are too small to like lay on them. This looks really good. Oh yeah, I have to show you guys our pergola. You guys saw it in the morning routine, but if you guys didn't see my morning routine, I'm gonna show it to you now. This is our pergola. It's so whimsical and beautiful. There's no candles in the chandelier though because it did just storm last night, so we brought them in. And there's usually um, flowers on the table, but actually one of the things I bought from Michael's today is for the center of the table. Uh, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And Colin hung all this greenery up. It's so beautiful. So yeah, we are gonna keep the top of this pergola, the brown color, because it goes with the chair so well. But yeah, Colin did such a good job. What can he do? It looks so beautiful out here. Look, it still has a tag that says salt. Colin. <laughs> the cheese is fucking melting. No, <laughs> damn it. It looks really good though. If I liked mushrooms, I would like your cooked mushrooms. Oh wait guys, I'm gonna show you the things I got from the antique shop while I'm in here. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Michael's when I go inside. Let me turn on the light. We're having the vintage designer collection and I bought this couture sign to be sold with that collection. And then over here, I got a real Gucci bag. It's authentic guys, it's beautiful. And I have some Chanel items so far and then I have this Louis Vuitton boy bag. And I also got this sparkly bag. It just felt like it goes with the whole glam theme. We just recently sold Chanel earrings and they were like almost half off. Okay guys, so I'm back inside. I'm gonna do a haul, that's why I'm sitting here, to show you guys the things that I got at Michael's. Now that you saw what I got when I antique shopped, I have to show you what I got at Michael's. Okay, so I'm just gonna announce it now while I show you this VR guest sign. I was inspired to get this because my friend Tanya is coming back in town in two weeks. So if you guys have stuck around since 2017 or maybe even 2015, 2016, you remember my friend Tanya. We have these glam trips together here in Pennsylvania and we have so much fun together. She is a part of the V squad whenever she's in town. We're gonna be going to the Hamptons when she's in town, so I'm super excited about that. But this is the sign, be our guest that I got. I wanna put this in the princess cave downstairs to welcome our guest since it's our guest room. I got lemons. I wanna put this lemon tray on the table under the pergola. I think it would be really cute. But I'd obviously have to bring it inside just like I bring the candles inside whenever it storms. I got a candlestick. I got a tablecloth because I like to throw parties. And I got another tablecloth. I got white garland for, or it's cream garland. It's like a cream colored garland for around my vanity in our bedroom upstairs. I got this like rose gold looking garland for the living room because I feel like this would look so cute along the back of the couch. Super whimsical, I love it. And I got more greenery to decorate the outside of my antique shed because I feel like it would look so cute. Colin's looking at me, filming, filming. He's eating under the pergola, it's really cute. Oh, he's eating these little mushrooms. I think this would look so cute around my antique shed to like mock the pergola. I'm such a mom. Welcome friends. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this, wow, it's backwards. I feel like this would look so cute like when I have like a party or just gatherings to just have this set up on the kitchen counter like with drinks around it or like a cake. I think it's just so cute. So actually, I got a bunch of these stick on flowers because I'm going all out decorating my vanity. I'm gonna stick these on the wall surrounding my makeup vanity. I'm probably gonna do it tonight, but these are adorable. Like, I can't wait to see what all this looks like. It's gonna be so fancy. I got a clock for our bedroom. Well, an alarm clock for Colin because he sleeps in all the time. And I also bought a cake stand because I realized when I was baking the other day that I don't have a cake stand. I sell them in my antique shop, but I don't own one because I, I just sell them. And last but not least, I got a welcome sign because I realized we don't have a welcome sign. Like, the only welcome sign we have is in the antique shop. Wow, I dedicate everything to the antique shop. I feel like this would look super cute somewhere like on the fireplace or like in this room, like right when guests show up. 
But yeah, that's everything I got from Michael. So I got a little excited and I put the flowers behind the couch prematurely, even though it's getting dark out. I still think it looks so pretty with like the deer pattern blanket. It looks very woodsy in here and I'm obsessed with like that cottage vibe. So I think I'm gonna leave everything else for tomorrow when it's sunny out, as you can see or can't see. Ooh, the sun's going down. So everything will look so much prettier when it's light out when I set everything up. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the morning and I ended up doing my hair this morning. Samuel's already at my parents' house. He's already setting up to do my makeup. I'm super excited. I wonder how he's gonna beat my face. This is the first time I'm getting my makeup done after being recovered. I'm bringing my Kylie Skin like hairband to pull my hair back so he can get my hair out of my face while he beats it. And I'm just super nervous but super excited. Um, for those of you who forget for, from what I said earlier in the vlog, this photo shoot is with my sister Nikki, my twin sister, obviously you know who she is, and my older sister Alex. And us three are going to be on the cover of Max and Friends. I don't know how that happened but I'm super excited and that's what this photo shoot is for. My perfume of the day is the one and only Ari. And for those of you who've stuck around since 2015, know I love to mix this fragrance with my Victoria's Secret teas. These together are a holy grail and it's one of a kind. So I highly suggest mixing these two. nighttime it's after the shoot i just grew a zit right here did i just say grow a zit but i just formed a zit right here so please ignore that um so i just realized while editing this that i showed no clips of me like talking to the camera like showing you this is my makeup and this is how it looks so as you can see in the footage i'm pretty positive you can just see like it's a very natural look that's because the director of the photo shoot was like do like a bare glowy face like super minimal so it wasn't like a full beat down of my face but that's i guess like if kylie jenner were to do like a kylie skin ad that's like the look i guess he would go for um so it was really interesting to see someone else do my makeup because before i had anything done I was super, super picky about makeup artists because I have a certain way of doing my makeup and I have major, I had major insecurity issues with certain features, especially the under chin. So like, 
I just never wanted someone other than me do my makeup because I had just such a specific way of doing it. And it just felt really freeing, like not caring what he did to my face because I was satisfied or I am satisfied with how I look now, even without makeup. Like right now I'm not wearing any makeup and I have lash extensions on, but like after the surgery, I just feel like I don't need to run to makeup. And it's just like a freeing feeling. I've, ne I've never felt that way before. And so when I let him do my makeup this time, it was just so awesome to not be like, oh, let me just fix this. Let me add some thick ass eyeliner. Oh, let me touch my brows. Let me fix this. Let me do that. It was just nice. So I'm going to insert pictures here of my makeup from the shoot. I'm obviously not going to show the finished product, like the photos for the magazine, because I'm not allowed to do that for copyright reasons. But here's actually a TikTok I posted. I was making fun of Hallmark movies, but um, this is a TikTok I posted with the full glam that he did on me. And a lot of the comments were like complimenting the makeup. So yeah, Samuel's a great makeup artist. Thank you, Samuel. And I'm going to close my fancy vlog now because I'm editing and I'm sure this vlog is super long. I've done a lot in it. I'm excited for you guys to see my next vlog. There's something going on right now. So I'm super excited for that. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next fancy vlog.